Oh good. Not jazz after all. People often ask me on the channel, Vaughn, what do you think of jazz? So let's address that. Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Now, people often ask me, Vaughn, what do you think of jazz? Give us your opinions on jazz. So I figured I'd make a video about that. Um, jazz, all that jazz. How can I say this in a nice way? I'm not crazy about jazz. I really, I'd go so far as to say, I just don't get it. Um, Jazz to me, if I can use a metaphor, jazz to me kind of conjures up that image of, imagine you go to an art gallery, a modern art gallery, and, you know, modern art. There is some very groundbreaking, brilliant modern art, and there is some modern art that just leaves me scratching my head, and I'm sure leaves you scratching your head too. But to use the art analogy, jazz to me is very much like you're in this art gallery, and there's a couple standing looking at a piece of art. It's against the wall and it's lit. And they're standing there. It's usually a couple that look like this. And they're looking at this piece of art on the wall. Oh. And then you're really curious because you're thinking, wow, that must be good. So you walk up behind them and they're like talking to each other. And they're scratching their chins and they're like, And then you're standing behind them and you're thinking, that looks like it was done by a five-year-old. And you're kind of like leaning forward. And of course they're like, oh, oh, oh. And then you're standing behind them and you're like, huh? And of course they turn to see you and they're like, and they see your confused expression and you're like, and then they look at you and they're like, And they, you know, they wander off. And then you're left there standing and you're looking at this piece of work that is very expensive and well lit and, and worth hundreds of thousands of pounds or dollars. And you're looking at that and you're going, that looks like it was done by a five-year-old. What am I not getting about this? And then on your way home from the art gallery, you will walk past places like Leicester Square, Piccadilly Circus, where you've got lots of amateur artists sitting and they will... Draw, they will paint your portrait for you as you sit there and they'll charge very little, sometimes 10 pounds, 20 pounds if they, you know, if, if, if they can get that. And these are really great artists, but they're not making any money. And then you see the, the piece of art in the art gallery that looks like it was done by a five-year-old. It's worth hundreds of thousands. It, it's the, we're coming back to the banana that's strapped with, with gaffer tape onto the wall again. I just don't get it and it's probably a video for another series but you know my art teacher Mrs. Byrne in high school God rest her soul we went to an art gallery once and I asked her this was many years ago and I was looking at this art and I saw art that looked amazing and then I saw art that was looked like it was done by a five-year-old and I would say to Mrs. Byrne Mrs. Byrne I don't understand why that you know why, why is that worth so much money and she did say to me, Vaughan, when you graduate, you will understand. And I'll never forget uh, when I did graduate from school, I, you know, went to see her afterwards and I thanked her for everything. And I'll never forget to her, uh, I did say to her, ma'am, I still don't understand modern art. And yeah, anyway, so we're going a little bit off topic, but I I'm trying to sort of draw the comparison with modern art and how I just don't really get it. And jazz. So <laughs> jazz to me is a bit like... Oh God, jazz. <laughs> oh good, not jazz after all. And of course, running the risk of appearing to look like a, an ignoramus or a sim simpleton, you guys know I advocate speaking your mind and speaking the truth. I will acknowledge that jazz does require a lot of musicianship. You know, it's not like punk where it was like the three, the three chorded 
song that you could just like bash out and it wasn't about technical perfection it was just about authenticity and and, and that's really where I am with music it's, it's all about expression and stuff um but then of course with art and modern art and, and and jazz jazz to me really is I as I say I recognize that jazz does take a lot of skill I am quite fascinated as a musician when I watch jazz musicians some of it a lot of it I just can't I just don't have the ears for it but a lot of it I can look at it and I can go oh that's interesting what you're doing you're you're kind of reverse engineering everything. And, and jazz is really that thing where you, you've got to know the rules before you can break them. So, you know, the, jazz is a style of improvisation. I am no expert on jazz. And really, this video is just about, although I understand that there is great skill and, you know, mastery in becoming a great jazz musician, the reality is that I personally just don't like jazz. I... My mum was funny. She she said something like, "Jazz to her sounds like uh, there's a fine line between a jazz musician and a person who's just learning to play." Because it, it, it can always sound so flat and discordant and stuff. You know, to me, music is always a beautiful melody, something that you can hum along or sing to. And then remember, music is all about memories. And when you play a melody, you know, people can remember where they were at the time. And to me, jazz just doesn't have that. It's just kind of like all over the place. I used to call jazz musicians piano molesters. Because you know, instead of playing a beautifully crafted melody, it's kind of like, let's just play every key, let's just play every note because it's there. So jazz is very reactionary to the less is more thing. However, I understand that jazz has its place and I understand that I'm going to be criticized for saying this, but these are just my opinions. But I, I can only be honest about a subject and I'm not crazy about jazz. I'll give you some uh, personal examples. I was seeing a French girl many years ago and I was, uh, you know, when you start, when you first meet someone, you want to impress them. And uh, she, was a fr she was French and uh, her English was not very good. She had just come over and she said to me one day, uh, baby, uh, oh, actually, let me. The French cliche. And she was like, uh, baby, uh, you and me, we go to this um, music festival, uh, okay? And, <laughs> sorry, and there was a music festival, I can't remember where it was, it was somewhere affluent like Notting Hill or something, it was in the summer and you'd go there, it was in the summer, it was outdoors and they had tents and marquees and there were different types of music there, mainly sort of jazz and things like that. And I promise you guys, I never forget this, we walked into this tent, like a marquee, and she sat down and I went over to the sort of mobile bar to get two plastic cups of red wine. And I'll never forget, there was music playing. There was a drummer and a bassist and a guitar. And it was like all this kind of... And he was like on the bass going... And the guitar was going... And I'll get to this. So I came with my two glasses of red wine, sat down, gave her her glass. And then turned to look at the musicians and everyone started to clap. And I was genuinely, genuinely confused because honestly, guys, I really thought as I was standing at the bar, looking over at these three musicians and listening to them, I really thought they were warming up. I thought they were tuning, you know, before bands go on, they, they tune. I thought they were I thought they were tuning up, but they were actually performing and people clapped. So I just realized there and then, I just, I just don't get this. I, I, I can't understand this, this music that is so, so improvised and so all, of, so all over the place. Um, I'll give you another example. Um, I was out one night at a venue. Um, we were drinking a little bit, so, you know, you get a bit brave. And there was a, a pianist and an upright bassist in this venue. And they were doing their session and they walked out afterwards. You know, to go and have a cigarette. And one of my mates went, oh, Vaughan, go on, go and play the piano, go and play the piano. So I did. And this was a, a nice sort of like lively restaurant. And, you know, the, the musicians were good. Can I just say, I'm not saying jazz is crap. I'm really not saying that. I'm just saying is I just don't, it's just not for me. Okay, I'm just not a fan. So anyway, these musicians went out to have a cigarette and I went over to the piano. And I never forget, I just went over. I was a bit brave because I had a bit to drink. And I just literally went over and went... <laughs> And I promise you, it was like the whole room just like went silent. Now, I'm not trying to brag or to boast to you, but 
the notes I'm playing there is from Kate Bush's Withering Heights. But what, what I'm trying to illustrate to you is, you know, the, the, these musicians that were playing before me were obviously on a much higher level than me. And it was very sort of like that kind of stuff. And then they went outside for a cigarette. And when I sat down, I really thought I was just going to, you know, just play a few notes. But when I started playing, I kid you not, the room went silent. And it was just by doing... Because that really gets people's attention. And then it was the... point everyone was quiet and they were all looking at me and I was a bit I was a bit drunk and so I was a bit nervous I went oh I have an audience and by the time I got to and then of course when I stopped you know everyone clapped and they went yay and then so now at this point the two musicians who were outside having the cigarette heard the you know the cheering and the commotion and they came in and the pianist, I'll never forget, he rushed over to me and he kind of like jolted me on the shoulder and he kind of said, okay, mate, thanks enough. Uh, th you know, thanks a lot. It's our show. And I, oh, okay. So I got up and I walked away. Um, and then I did have people coming over to me saying, oh, that was amazing. Are you going to play again? Are, are, are you, are you, are you? And I said, no, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just here having dinner. Um, <laughs> and through the, throughout the rest of the night, these musicians were giving me filthy looks and okay. Lesson number one, don't rain, don't sort of go, don't do that, do that. If you're at a show, don't sort of try and rain, you know, you know, piss over someone's parade. Now, I wasn't trying to do that. I was a little bit drunk, but what I was trying to, what this taught me, and I, this is a lesson I will always remember, is despite the fact that these guys were obviously on a much higher level of musicality, a lot of that discord and kind of went over people's heads. But when I just sat down and I did the... That made people look up. I always bring it back to this. Music is all about melody. It's all about melody and how, and how we as human beings relate to melody. And that melody takes us back to a different time when we were younger and we can, melody makes us remember where we were. Uh, it, 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 it talks to that sentimental part of our soul. And that is why jazz to me just, doesn't really have that. I understand jazz as a improvised style of music. Um, you know, when you're at a night out and it's there to create a, a feeling and a vibe. I get it. I really do. But personally for me, jazz is just not, I just don't find it very exciting. I also find jazz can be very self-indulgent, a little bit like some modern art. It can be very, very self-indulgent where, you know, you, you go and let's say there's the pianist, the upright bassist, there's the drummer and the guitarist, and you'll see the pianist, and he's like, and they're, and they're all over the place, and the and then the bass is like, -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, and the guitar's like, -da 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 -da. and the drum is like, T -t 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 -t. and the worst part about it is it, it can become so self-indulgent. I often feel that a lot of jazz musicians are kind of playing for themselves. Now, I understand this because I've often said that jazz is the music of musicians. It's kind of like when you've gotten to a point where your musicality is so of such a high level you 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 do it to challenge yourself and jazz is very challenging i'm not i'm not disregarding jazz as a you know as a credible art form um once again as my art teacher said Vaughan, if you need if you if you lower your standards you will appeal to more people is that probably why the three chord pop song appeals to most people and technically speaking jazz which is probably more musical just goes over most people's heads and mine myself. So coming back to the jazz band analogy, we often see this four piece jazz band and it's almost like they're not playing for the audience. They're kind of playing for themselves and it can get so self-indulgent when you look at the pianist and he's like, and he's like, and then he looks over the guitar and the guitarist is like, and then he starts looking at the pianist and he starts gyrating his hips and you're like, Oh, okay, guys, please, time out. Just, just get a room, please. I mean, it's, it's, it's just too much, yeah? It just gets too, like, oh, it just, it can get really sleazy. So, oh, jazz, a bit of jazz. I remember when I was um, working at this piano bar many years ago, which I'll tell you the story in another video. I used to often sit down when I started my sets and I would just do, I like blues because blues to me, blues has got a bit of that 
soul and that that angst and that sort of real earthiness to it. Whereas jazz can be very lightened depending on the type of jazz, but jazz can quite often just be quite cheesy, like dripping with cheese kind of thing. Something I noticed in my times in the piano bar was I would start off by just doing, you know, so people walk into a room and they sit down and they hear that kind of, and you're kind of just improvising above chords like that and going on. But then later on, when you bring in melodies like, or, um, oh, I don't know. Dancing Queen, yeah, call me cheesy. But the point I'm trying to make is, is when you throw in melodies that people know, then you get their attention. Um, there are so many ideas, I'm not gonna run them through through this here. So to summarize, I understand the musicality that is required for jazz. Um, it has its place. Um, I will put my hands down and say, I'm not that good a musician. That's probably why I do what I do. But to me, music is all about yeah, you know, the simplistic and and the and the art of melody, and you know that's not to say jazz has not got melody, but very often it is it is missed because there is so much happening at the same time. And and my criticism with jazz is it can be so self indulgent, oh, and a, a little bit cheesy. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts? Uh, a lot of you asked me this question, so I thought I would address that in the video. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought of jazz, what you think of jazz. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? There are no wrong answers here. I like to encourage a lively debate and discussion. So please feel free to leave your comments below. If it's your first time to this channel, please hit subscribe, click like, introduce yourself, check out the previous videos we've done on this channel. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much as always. Adios.